Across America, individuals and small businesses alike are still reeling from the financial crisis that many believe was caused by the practices of large commercial banks. It's unfortunate that all bankers have been demonized because of the financial debacle that we've seen a few years ago. Uh, the truth of the matter is that community bankers are very compassionate people, very generous people, and they're very supportive of charitable needs in the community, and they provide the financing that small business needs. I think that small businesses really need the community banks, and because community banks do the majority of the lending to small businesses. Uh, we're already seeing that. Credit for the past several years has been readily available to big companies. It has not been readily available to smaller businesses and, and individuals who don't have pristine credit ratings. Uh, and, and that is, in my opinion, one of the main reasons why our economic recovery has been so slow. And if you could just imagine, as governor, I, I, a state that had so many local communities but didn't have strong local banks, uh, it would be impossible to be economically strong. The fundamental difference between large national banks or regional franchises and community banks is the fact that community banks are locally owned and managed. After being in the banking business for approximately 40 years, I sold the company that I was chief executive officer and had taken public and I was home for four days and very helpful to my wife and, and daughters and uh, Barbara pulled me aside very seriously and said, uh, this is not going to work, you've got to go find a job. So I said, I'll start a bank. But I really wanted to create an institution that would be very supportive of the economic uh, development needs of uh, the community and, and charitable contributions that are necessary for various causes. So we are, we're the only locally owned bank in Grove and all the decisions are made right here. His commitment is here. Uh, I think the commitment shows you that he started a bank from scratch and of course named it the Bank of Grove. He is just saying, I'm in Grove. He could have been anywhere he picked here. And so I think it's critical and they played a critical part in the economic development of our state because they invested locally. They supported local projects. They build hospitals. They give small business loans, which is critical to small businesses staying strong. Watching my dad at work, you really see what drives him. He is motivated by many different things. He honestly wants to help people. He wants to change their lives. When we look at a loan request, we have the ability to go behind the scenes, not look at just the numbers, the collateral. We look at the individual borrower, the talents, integrity, and we have unique knowledge of our community and what the needs are and what's likely to succeed and not succeed. So the process becomes very passionate, very personal, and we want people to succeed. Martin Ortega, owner and chef of Casita's Restaurant, is just one of many successful businesses because of the personal approach of his small community bank. We're a small community. We have the blessing of knowing our customers. We knew Martin that had a great product. We knew that Martin had a great character. And he knew, we knew he was somebody that we could invest in and believe in. One thing that I've always believed in is that we have to stick with our customers through good and bad times. And so when you know your banker and you go to church with your banker, you see your banker out in the, in the marketplace, you develop relationships, and we are relationship builders. When I was uh, working for, before I opened my restaurant, working for this other restaurant, I mean, I was hardly making any money. It was hard to live in and making $7.50 an hour, it wasn't enough for me. Uh, Martin is a good example of how community banks operate. We go behind the numbers. Martin on paper couldn't get a loan, but now he has a business. He employs 16 people. He's very successful and it's been a real pleasure for me to have participated in that process. And now, you know, because uh, Bank of Grove helps small business and he believed in me, I came to make my dream come true. I am a Christian and I've always tried to follow my Christian principles and I've never had a conflict between those principles and good business practice. So I try to take care of the needs in the community. I try to do what I can to improve quality of life and be of help to those individuals that have not been as fortunate as I am.
you know, I think it's so critical that we realize how important the support of Bank of Grove has been to our community. Ed had such a love for the community where he lives. Uh, it's very important to know that he and Barbara wanted to raise their children in Grove. Uh, he could have put a bank anywhere because he, that's his life. He's been in the banking business. They wanted to be in Grove. And they said if they're going to live in Grove, they're going to contribute to Grove. Dad started this bank because he wanted to benefit Grove. He wanted to do things that were that he could for the community, that he knew that he would have the ability to do through this bank with all of the charitable contributions that he gives, um, with the way he's worked to bring the hospital to town, with the different things that we have done to improve Grove. We want to improve the quality of life here in Grove and we want to do what we can. One of my favorite aspects of my job working for Integris Health is I serve on a committee that oversees the Townsend's Children Fund. This fund was established to provide medical and dental care for underprivileged children in our community. For someone to really be an effective banker, you must have compassion. And I have compassion for my community, those that are not as fortunate as I have been, and I feel a deep sense of responsibility to give back. So that gives me great satisfaction, and I'm very thankful that I can do that. If they believe in you, you know what to do. You know, I feel free, I can do whatever I want. Yes. He changes people's lives. He works hard to do that because you know, he, he really cares. He cares about people and he, and he cares about this community. Um, he takes a lot of pride in, in Grove. This is his home.